hello guys welcome back to my channel dp design and in this video i am going to explain the cockpit opening template okay as you can see in the screen so today we will talk about that template how it should get into the car and what are the criteria and i will also explain the example of the cockpit opening template and uh, after that i will explain the steering template as well how it should pass so first we will talk about the uh, template so how you should draw this template first i will show as we have the car for the example but before that i will just show you how to sketch it okay so you just make the center line in the between uh, for the reference so you then mirror that uh, template okay so you have the dimension of uh, this 350 mm and there is a chamfer and that is going line uh, inclined line and then you have a 400 okay so first uh, you draw the shape of the template okay so as you can see uh, you can rotate as well okay if you don't understand so you can rotate the template okay so i have uh, drawn it right so this will be my 350 means 350 by 2 okay 175 then 100 mm will be the distance which can be called as a chamfer okay 100 mm and then 100 mm uh, will be the distance vertically okay right and then uh, this should be a horizontal line and then what is the distance from the top to bottom uh, that will be around oh wait at its sketch again and 600 mm okay so first 600 mm okay great i can extend this line okay now what are the criteria we have we are done with a 350 mm 100 100 done and there is a 175 which will be this distance okay from this line to this line okay this is 75 mm and this will be 400 mm means 200 you can say okay it is already defined okay now a sketch is defined i will set this sketch to origin okay so that it is fully defined sketch now you can mirror this and i will mirror the entities and it is to mirror and i will mirror about this and okay so my template is ready you can extrude this and in the assembly you can check with this template as well and uh, in the real time what you can do you can just make two slots over here randomly like okay i'm not giving any dimension over here but you can make two slots to handle this uh, template okay to pass through so you can just make it actual cut you can measure it out uh, what will be suitable uh, short slot for you so you can just make the slot and you can grab from here right so this is how uh, template uh, should made now we will come to the we have the uh, example chassis over here and this is the perfect i guess uh, so it will be easy to explain over here so it can be called as a opening template okay where the driver is sitting so you have to remove the steering uh, steering bar uh, to pass through the template if your steering is in between so we will not count that because uh, it should pass through this template this c, c members also uh, doesn't get involved while you are uh, passing the template right so for the beginners what i would suggest i would suggest uh, to make it wider so that your you uh, your template can pass through easily right so that you should take care as a beginner team now coming to the template okay we have a, uh, we have this template over here which is just a minute okay this is these are the plane for a lower and upper cockpit opening template so as you can see lower is there and upper is there if you edit the sketch uh, this will be the same dimension we have drawn right and you can extend this or you can extrude this okay so what i will do i'll just uh, make this sketch visible okay it's not visible so what i can do I can just uh, sketch it upper and yes 
I would this, this uh, convert entity and I will extrude this up to in the okay up to the reference up to the surface surface I can select the plane over here upper upper lower lower okay lower template okay now we click it okay so as you can see my driver opening template is ready so what it does it should pass and uh, no members of sim to get involved with this template okay if it touches then uh, you should change the dimension of your chassis and uh, now as you, as you can see uh, what is the distance between upper cockpit co co template uh, from the ground so it is a uh, 150 mm distance we have taken right as a reference as you can see so this will be your ground clearance and uh, for from the lower uh, template it will be around let's see what is the distance okay let's check it out upper cockpit template and lower cockpit template okay so lower is around 300 mm okay which where is your sim member is there sim member joint is there okay so there is no issue uh the cockpit template is passing through so you don't have to worry about but if it touches anything any member so you have to take care it should not get touched so this is how you you have to take care while designing your chassis and uh, also you have to look for the steering bar okay so these things you have to consider while uh, designing the car so this is how uh, you should follow this rule according to this uh, rule book given okay and there is a instruction over uh, over this uh, about uh, different templates so this is how you should uh, practice and uh, make sure i have seen some teams where they are uh, giving the uh, like zip ties and uh, tapes right on this member so that should also uh, avoid the touch with your uh, cockpit template because that also uh, can be the breaking of the rule okay so that you should uh, consider and yes that's all for the video and you can start practicing this uh, cockpit template with your sim members okay while designing this and uh, Day by day, you will get the more idea about it while designing the car. And yeah, thank you so much for the watching the video. And if you like the video, please like and subscribe and uh, share it to your colleagues and formula students. Okay, say so they have a better picture about it. And yes, keep learning, keep sharing. See you in the next video.